Jimmy Calderwood made one change from the team which qualified for the last 32 of the UEFA Cup. Ricky Foster in for Sonia Luco, with two-goal hero Jamie Smith playing off Lee Miller up front. Walter Smith started with Daniel Kuzan partnering Stephen Naismith in attack. With Chris Boyd on the bench, Stephen Whitaker at left back, but he could get to right back eventually if Alan Hutton moves to Manchester United. The commentary from Jim Proudfoot and Scott Booth. A nice ball over the top, Whitaker with a vital interception. But Weir couldn't get there. And now Smith, the Gregor at full stretch, sensed that it was close. We have seen just recently what Jamie Smith can do when he gets in a position where he can unleash. That's exactly what he does. He gets everything behind it. He goes to that near post area. He might have been better off going across McGregor, but he went for the power. He wasn't far away. That's the concentration from Considine. McCulloch, Ferguson, Hutton. It's a good run by Alan Hutton. Langfield with an important stop. Oh, Alan Hutton had a great opportunity to make it 1-0 Rangers. Here's Hutton. Good ball as well, the run in from McCulloch. a fantastic goal, just look yet again that channel, right in behind but it's all about the timing of McCulloch's run fantastic, he delayed it great ball from Hutton and that's a perfect pass, a cross goal Langfield can't come, the defence can't get there either, but Charlie Adam can and then Hutton has been brought down and that is pure retribution from Chris Clark and another flashpoint as Barry Ferguson gets involved. Severin trying to calm things down. Undoubtedly, Clark's going to receive at least a yellow card. At least one missile was thrown on from the supporters as well. Yellow card. Well, I think he's lucky. It's pure stupidity. I'm, I, I cannot believe why he would do that right in front of the, the linesman. Now, the assistant referee from the far touch line has made his way onto the centre of the pitch. He spotted something that was going on while the referee was trying to deal with the immediate aftermath. George Drummond has told Kenny Clark what he saw and what further sanctions are going to be taken now. A red card! Lee McCulloch sent off! keep your eyes on the left hand side of the screen that was the challenge that got McCulloch sent off and Ferguson's lucky as well Aberdeen second corner better than the first McGregor came a long way to meet it Rangers temporarily down to nine men while Thompson awaits permission to come back on Diamonds ball in, Burn, and the header is in! Aberdeen equalise, Lee Miller, right at the end of stoppage time at the end of the first half! There's one thing that Thursday night taught you about Aberdeen, they're a gutsy side and they've gone right to the edge here to get Lee Miller involved. He couldn't miss that one, but he was brave. He stuck his head there, it's a great run from Burn. Burns lost it, and it's two against two, albeit in a very deep area of the pitch. Naismith, Thompson's making his way forward. Kuzan's got goal side. Langfield brilliantly denies it. This can't happen. The game's really opened up. Put up to 65th minute, and Naismith he just releases Kuzan at a perfect time. And I thought there that Foster could get back. He trips himself up, but Kuzan he should score.
Boyd was waiting, and it was so nearly sliced into his own net by Xander Diamond. Well, Naismith's been magnificent in this game. 